Hello, powerful event group, Shay Wheat here. And I just wanted to jump on for a quick moment and share a few thoughts that I had uh, recently from an event that I actually attended. Um, it was actually very weird and odd for me to attend an event because I've been so focused on actually running and producing really powerful events that I figured, you know what, I need to reconnect in and see if there are any gaps or see where I could really serve you more. So I went and attended an event <laughs> and got some great ideas and feedback and some definite things that I wanted to make sure that you are aware of as you're in the process of planning and producing your own events. So first note, registration, absolutely huge. This is your first impression that your attendees have when they're coming in to your space and in your world. Um, at this particular event that I was at, they had no registration presence whatsoever. Um, unfortunately, their team was dealing with some type of AV issue that there wasn't anybody there to greet me or the other attendees to let them know that come in, drop your stuff off, feel free to go ahead and, you know, create a name tag, which I love. I love being able to like bling out your own name tag and draw it out and get creative with it. But there was nobody kind of holding the container for what our steps were to you know take um for you to remember that somebody coming into your world for an event they're probably going uh am i supposed to be here i don't know what to expect they're having a lot of anxiety and registration is our first impression that we get to go you know what this is the place to be you're totally fine where you're at we're going to take care of you we're going to hold this space and container everything's going to be okay. Here's what you're going to do. This is how we're going to start the morning together. Okay. So that is number one registration. Absolutely huge that you have somebody there that is representing you and your brand and in your event to really love on all of your attendees. First impression. The second one is to make sure that your team has a copy of your run of show. Very important. So you as the event host, you are looking to create transformation, right? For you to be in that space, you really can't be in logistic land. And that's why we create the run of show or one day, two day, three day agenda on what it is that we're setting up structure wise. So then you can give that to your team and then they can, you know, help you stay on task. They can help you move the event forward because you can be just having downloads. You can be, you know, flowing with the event and then totally space out and go, okay, great. I have no clue what I'm supposed to do next. And, you know, your team can be in the back holding up the handout. So it's like, oh, yes, that's great. We want to do handouts next. So team, go ahead and pass out the handouts. <laughs> um, and I'll get to handouts in just a second. However, with the run of show, this also assists your team in supporting you, right? Um, helping you with what time the attendees need to be back from lunch. So you would have probably just delivered this amazing piece of, of ahas or just did a really great um, interaction with the attendees and just offered some amazing transformation. And you know it's time to go to lunch, but if you actually had teams supporting you, knowing the run of show, having the agenda in front of them, saying, okay, you know, we're already going to block off 90 minutes for lunch, and maybe you went a little bit over, your team can calculate exactly what 90 minutes is, or maybe you have the agreement ahead of time that, you know what, I want to make sure even if I go over time, I want to make sure that we are always back on time. So then we can hit the rest of our schedule the way it's planned. So that way you have a discussion with your team. They know what's required of them and they're there to support you. And you don't have to think about, okay, so it's now 
you know, 1236 and I need to give you 90 minutes for lunch and that is going to put us back at, <laughs> your team can, can have your back and say, yep, we're going to be back at this time. And you're like, okay, great, fantastic. They can also take care of any housekeeping items so you don't have to retain that information. So, you know, maybe you're doing an exercise and they need to bring um, a certain sacred item back with them after lunch, or they're doing an exercise during lunch and you need to give them some instruction on that. Your team can support you. So make sure that your team has a copy of the run of show. Okay, I mentioned handouts. Oh, handouts, I love the, um, <laughs> so with handouts, please collate them or have your team collate them. You shouldn't be doing it. Have your team collate them. And what I mean by that is this. So you'll notice I've got all of my handout stacks of paper according to how many people are in each row or they're in um, each table or whatever the case may be. You know, I know right off the bat that I've got crescent rounds of six. So then I need to have handouts of six and I can just go ahead and collate them all together, be ready to rock and roll as a team member to pass these out. You don't want your team passing them out one at a time. You get one and you get one and you, it just takes up so much time. And we want to get this in their hands as soon as possible. Um, also remember when you pass out handouts, where's their, their focus going to be? Right, right into the handout, right? They're going to, you pass it out, their head goes down. So make sure that if there's any important information that you require their focus on you, you might want to hold off on passing the handouts until you're ready for them to actually take a look at it and, you know, read along with you, whatever is happening. So very, very important with your handouts. 